Hi guys, welcome to the channel Aftomag TV. Every day we continue to show new electric cars with a unique appearance. There's a new performance wagon in the Volkswagen lineup, WID7 GTX. The Tourer has become the most outstanding all-rounder of the Wolfsburg organization's creation, surpassing in performance power Golf R with 3 to 15 forces. VW's first charged electric station wagon has a total output of 340 thrust from a pair of electric motors that provide all-wheel drive. Most of the heat goes to the rear engine, which produces 286 horsepower, and the front engine is capable of providing another 109 drives, according to representatives of the German brand, the front electric motor. It turns on only when it is vitally necessary and shows signs of life for a short time. Power transfer is accomplished using electronic differential locks and a unique all-wheel drive control. The dual motor design allows the ID.7 GTX Sightseer to tow up to 1400 kilo, while the single motor rear wheel drive version was introduced a month earlier. I can tow one ton. While the younger model comes standard, with a 77.0 kilowatt battery, the GTX gets an 86.0 kilowatt battery as standard. This may well be blamed on the constant current at stations up to 200 kW, allowing the battery to charge from 10 to 80% in less than 30 minutes. The maximum mileage has not yet been determined, but we can assume that it will not be quite a rear-wheel drive version, which can travel 600 at 5 km on the WLTP cycle. Oddly enough, Volkswagen does not provide any information about the exhibition. Early Gaugas Peget nil 100 km h acceleration times in the range of 5 to 6 seconds, given that the standard ID7 is rear wheel drive and produces just 286 HP, completes this practice in 6.5 seconds. Inside, the VW ID7 GTX Sightseer looks as modern as the standard form, but there are slight contrasts. Despite the red stitching, the GTX lettering additionally makes it possible to recognize the seats of the standard model. The new seats are designed to make fast driving more enjoyable. Moreover, the front seats can be electrically adjusted in 12 positions. In the kit includes products for back massage, warming, and ventilation. These seats come in the Inside A package, which includes heated rear seats and a Harman Kardon sound system. Other innovations include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Dual Zone Environmental Control, and Enhanced Reality TV. This is available as standard. Volkswagen additionally offers the voice assistant IDA and Visit GPT. To assist the driver, there is a road sign and a programmed emergency deceleration. The vehicle can drive itself out. For a more relaxing holiday on the motorway programmed remote control and an updated shift partner are also available as options. Roads. Volkswagen has recently implemented a discretionary leave warning system from the inside, which prevents entrances from opening when vehicles, including bicycles, enter from the other side. In addition, as befits a station trolley, the VW ID7 GTX Traveler's Cargo Bay for all its power, also holds a ton, 605 liters and 1,714 liters with the rear seats folded. Stacking area length varies from 1075 semaseer to 1948 semostomater, and the width between the turns of the wheels is exactly one meter. From the rear, the car can be recognized by its diffuser. In addition, the grille is isolated by a reflector strip. In the dark, you can recognize the car by the illuminated Volkswagen logo on the front and rear. This model is limited by its 20-inch Skagen wheels. They can be painted a dark polished color if desired, but you can choose 21-inch ones for an additional cost. Volkswagen will begin pre-sales of the new ID.7 GTX Sightseer in the spring. It is not yet known when the same sports uniform of the model will arrive, will appear at sellers. The equivalent goes at cost. 
If we take the price of the ID7 Master Sightseer, which in Germany costs from 54,795 euros, then the base price of the new stacker should start at 65,000 euros.